Hi YouTube, this is Misha Loves Beauty and I'm coming to you with my updated um, skincare regimen or my update on me trying to repair my skin from the acne scars. Okay, first of all, I have been breaking out um, period in the last week. So I got, I had a bump here and that one's gone and I'm working on fading that one. Then I got a new one here. What I didn't do was I was washing my face with just this and not using my um, Neutrogena's acne prone bar like I should have been and that's why I was breaking out because whenever I use this on constantly on a regular I don't break out so that explains these two bumps here um so what I have to do is I have to use this every day and then use this just to take my makeup off or if I'm using this if I wash my face after a workout or something like that. <clears throat> also, um, something new that I incorporated, I exfoliate with baking powder. I'm not baking powder, baking soda, excuse me. And um, I take a little, just empty a little bit in a container and then I make mixed water with it to make it pasty. Not, maybe a little bit looser than pasty. And then I put it on my face and rub it on my face. And it's a great exfoliator, and it's cheap exfoliator. So that's I think that's under a dollar, and that'll last you for a long time. Cause I was using pads, but um, I saw that on YouTube. Um, so I give credit to Miss I Craze channel, and then um, Beauty Splurge channel also mentioned the baking uh, soda. Also, I am using this is the container where I have the DIY mask for acne. Um, scars, which I got from Beauty Splurge channel as well, and I have been using that for, I used it for the, I say the last week, and I really like, this stuff makes your face really soft after you, um, uh, after you put it on and wash it off. Also, I have I've stopped using the Dixon's Witch Hazel, but this is the bottle, but I, this is a, um, DIY facial toner which this is apple cider vinegar and um, green tea and this is grapeseed oil and it's got aloe vera in it so I've been using this for the last maybe three weeks and there's a little bit the little bit of the um, toner the uh, wish that I had left is mixed in here too as well so I've been using this and I really like this um and of course I'm still using my skin success fade cream here and that's what I got left which is a lot um I'm not sure I'm either gonna to maybe use this less and go with a more natural um alternative may even make a herbal oil for scarring or buy one from Burst Bees, which I know they have. Thanks to, uh, thanks to Miss Shan R414 for bringing that up to me again because I remember I had seen it. Um, so I'm not sure on that yet. Also, I'm going to <coughs> incorporate a mask with aspirin because aspirin is made. It, aspirin is so, so, whatever this thing is. What it? Some acid, salicylic acid or whatever. I can't even say it. But I think you guys know what I'm talking about. And so I'm going to try that. And um, maybe make a video on it. And let y'all guys know about it. But that's um, pretty much it. My skin has um, upgraded. There's The scarring up here is diminished. My scarring down here has diminished. And under here. I had a scratch here. You can really barely see it. So now I just got to work on these two new spots that I had created on my own. But otherwise, I, I can see a difference in my skin. And I just wanted to share you with that with you guys. So thanks for watching my update video. Bye.